Okay, I'll give you an update on the uh, the Zeta board. Um, I was at the uh, flea market um, last weekend, and uh, somebody had a bunch of sockets for sale. Uh, so I bought some tubes of sockets, and uh, I got lucky. I got enough for all the big chips, um, the 40 pinners. I think these are 32 pin. These are 28 pin. Uh, I think so. Um, anyway, I had the right sizes uh, for these, so that was a good a good deal. Uh, cost me a dollar a tube, uh, so that was a good price, I thought. Um, and then um, I had a whole bunch of 8-pin um, sockets um, that I had acquired some time ago, and I've just got a ton of them. <laughs> um, and so for the 16-pins, uh, uh, I just put uh, two 8-pins together, and then... Uh, there's a couple 14-pin uh, devices, and I had to cut off one pin. So I just uh, used my, my my cutters and and just cut off one pin and um, made myself a six-pinner. So there's a, a eight-pinner and a six-pinner, um, and I put in the bypassing capacitors, um, figuring it doesn't really matter what value they were. I just found the ones that I had. Um, so. Uh, that's coming along. Um, I did order parts um, from Mauser, um, and uh, I was able to get all of the parts except for the... Um, well, first of all, I'm not ordering the disc controller, so I, I don't care about the discs. So I'm not, I'm not ordering the disc controller. Um, the one part that I had a hard time getting, there was a lead time out into December, um, probably into next year, uh, for the, um, the timer chip. And I don't know actually if it's required to run uh, CPM. I don't think it is. So this this battery here, um, I think does two jobs. I think it battery backs up the RAM, but it also uh, one of these is a clock, a real time clock chip, and then there's a a, a counter timer Z80 counter timer chip. Um, there is a couple. Um, uh, parallel interface. This is a parallel connector here, so there's some 8255s. I've got some of those, so I could pop those in. I don't think they're necessary, though, to run the board, so I'm going to try to load this to the very, very bare minimum to get CPM up and running, um, and so I don't think I'll require um, the 8255s. Um, so, we'll go from there. Uh, I have another update. So, um, I sold out of this board, so I had some I had some more built, um, and so I've got uh, I've got a lot now. <laughs> so uh, if you need one, these are on eBay now. Uh, so just search for Zeta Zeta Z80, and uh, you will find them. Uh, I'm putting uh, I ordered I ordered 20. And here's one that I'm keeping, and so the other 19 are up on eBay. Um, and so uh, grab those if you need them. Um, they seem to be quite popular, so um, even some international folks had bought them. So uh, these will be up, uh, up on eBay. Um, and um, yeah, so uh, really the next step is to... Um, get the parts in, which I think I'll get in at the end of September. I think that was the longest lead time item and I just wanted to pay for shipping once. I told them to hold off the order until it was complete. Um, and then we'll load it up and see if I have everything. I think I have everything, but I'm, I haven't been really careful about this project. It's kind of a back burner project. Um, so I think I've got the parts to order, um, to parts to populate, but we'll find out. When we load it, we'll see what's missing and maybe have to order a couple more.